I'm going to tell you how to find the diffraction limited resolution of a camera from space looking at the earth and the distance from the earth in our example will be about 200 kilometers which is 200,000 meters the size of our aperture or the width of our camera opening will be about 2 meters we'll be looking at visible light from the earth and light, since light is a wave it has a wavelength the wavelength of visible light is about 500 nanometers which is about 500 billionths of a meter this is a very small number obviously Since light is a wave and not simply an infinitely small particle or a simple ray, it tends to bend around the aperture of the camera, limiting the resolution and blurring the image. Often, the resolution refers to angular resolution or how small of an angle your camera can measure, especially when you're talking about uh, astronomy. The fraction limited angular resolution for a circular aperture is 1.22 times the wavelength divided by the aperture size. And that's, of course, in radians. The spatial resolution, which is the width of the smallest discernible detail, depends also on the distance between the camera and the object, which is x in our case. For our example of a satellite camera to 100 kilometers above the Earth with an aperture of 2 meters and visible light wavelength of about 500 nanometers, we can just plug in the values of our variables into our equation and we get an answer of about 6.1 centimeters and this is from 200 kilometers with visible light with 2 meters aperture now suppose instead we want a satellite camera in geosynchronous orbit which is 36,000 kilometers away with a resolution of about 10 centimeters this would allow continuous observation then we just have to solve for y, and that's pretty easy with, with uh, algebra. We multiply both sides by y, divide by r, cancel everything out, of course, and we arrive at y is equal to 1.22 times the distance times the wavelength divided by what we want our resolution to be. And with that, we can just find out what kind of aperture we need. And that's simple. Like before, we just plug in our values, and this time we're trying to find our aperture size. So we plug in the distance to Earth, the wavelength of visible light, like before, and divide by our resolution that we want. And we end up with an aperture of about 220 meters. That's pretty big, obviously. We can also use this for other optical instruments, like our eye. If we assume that our aperture size is our pupil size and that it's fully dilated and it's about one centimeter when it's fully dilated um, and wavelength is still 500 nanometers, lambda is often used, and our eyes have a theoretical angular resolution of about 1.22 times wavelength divided by y, which is about 61 microradians or 12.5 arc seconds. So at a distance of about a thousand meters, one kilometer, we'd be able to see details about 6.1 centimeters in size. And we figure that out by multiplying our angular resolution, which we saw before, which is 0 0.000061 radians times 1,000 meters and that will give us a result. So as you can see, humans can see about an object, 6.1 centimeters is about the size of an apple. So we could see two apples against each other over one kilometer away. 